What's up everybody? Red Eye Nation here once again. Heading out for a gig tonight. It's a special needs uh, for young adults and adults. Kind of a funny thing how this came about. Uh, my best friend growing up all these years. Still a great friend. Dylan Crick. Shout out to you buddy. Um, his brother is uh, special. And um, his parents reached out to me. They're part of a committee called LEARN. I'm not sure really what it stands for. Um, off the top of my head. I'll uh, post a link for them uh, down below here. But uh, they do a lot of stuff for special need folks. And it's just a great organization. Uh, Mr. Craig or Mr. Kirk, as a lot of people call him. I've always called him Mr. Craig my whole life. And probably continue will to uh, he reached out to me because their DJ that they normally use was unable to make it so he contacted me and I told him yeah I'd do it he said the only catch was is that their uh, funds are a little bit low I says don't worry about it um, I'll do it for free don't worry about it it's a great cause y'all are some great people so I'm heading out. I got everything packed in my car, and I mean everything. Uh, truss, speakers, monitor, controller, focus spot, three Zs, everything. You can kind of see I have a little bit of a hazard. Can't even see out my back window right now. Oh well. Got side mirrors. I'll be good. Hopefully I'll remember to take some more, some videos and some photos and some more videos when I get there. I'm going to give this a vlog thing a try here. Other than the reviews I've been normally doing. I'm also kind of excited about tonight because I just ordered some truss adapters by Pro X. Um, they go on the on the top of your crank up truss um, for people that are running, you know, your traditional square truss or even triangular trusses. Well, I'm just running a little I-beam. Um, it's about 10 foot in length. And um, this way I can put the bar uh, horizontal instead of running it vertical. Um, with that being said, that means I can, you know, have my moving heads up, you know, a whole foot higher. And the way I always position my par cans and my heads, they'll still be the same distance. So that won't be any issue. The only thing that'll be interesting is uh, tonight I won't be able to use lasers or strobes so I didn't uh, program my uh, dual scorpions by Chauvet I didn't program them for tonight so once I get back home tonight and set everything back up tomorrow I'm going to start the whole process of programming and by the way I'm using sound switch if any of you haven't heard about it it's a uh, little interface it's a little black box I believe they uh, partnered up with Chauvet on that and did this whole uh, interface system that talks directly to Serato uh, the whole time sorry I got an asshole on my bumper the first time I seen something like this it was a controller by Pioneer um, and it was actually for record box and it actually has a DMX output on the controller if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I was like, oh, that'd be pretty sweet if they had that for uh, Serato. Well, I did some research and they do. It's apparently been out for a while now. I don't know where I've been. But a uh, sound switch is very, very amazing. Every time you play that song, the lights will do whatever you have pre-programmed them to do. Um, if you program your lights to do strobe, there's a strobe override button that you can uh, click uh, when you're setting it or before you set up, before you play, so it won't strobe at all. The only issue I have found, and I'll lower the phone, there's a cop coming up. The only issue I have found is uh, on the Scorpion, or not the Scorpion, the uh, Stinger 2 by American DJ. Uh, when you put the strobe on the master, shit, this should be a video for another day. I'll just go ahead and get into it. 
Uh, when you put the strobe on the master unit, for some reason the shove or the uh, stinger, I can't even talk right now, for some reason the stinger um, will not strobe when you put it on the master. It will only strobe when you go into the stinger unit itself and put the strobe. And for some odd quirkiness when you turn the strobe off, um, it will still strobe on that track for the stinger. Why that happens, I'm not sure. So I did not program any of the songs tonight to do any strobing with the stinger. Um, 